Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys what's in my makeup bag. This is a pretty big bag. Um, it does hold a lot of things in here, as you will be able to see in a bit. I don't carry this with me everywhere I go, of course. Most of the time, once I've done my makeup, I just take my essentials with me and then I'll just throw them in my purse or much smaller makeup bag. Everything in here I absolutely love and these are products that I cannot live without. When I'm not home, and I'm not going to be home for a day or two or just like... But these are the products that I want to have with me at all times. These are basically all my makeup essentials that I need to have a nice makeup look I guess or I guess just a more okay look something that I will feel confident in because I cannot do a full face with everything that I have in here not something that I would do like now for instance this is just like my simple makeup but still good enough makeup to look good and if I need to go somewhere and I'm not home everything in here will take care of it so yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what I put in my makeup bag and before I move on to the inside, I just want to talk about the outside a little bit. So this makeup bag I got from Sephora. It's so cute. The um, It says these are a slew of my favorite things, as you can see, obviously. So when I first got this, I didn't even see this word right here, slew. I just read it all super quick and I figured it said these are a few of my favorite things because hello, you know, the song and everything. But um, slew, I had no idea what that was. But I guess, I mean, somebody told me it means a lot, which it makes more sense. These are a lot of my favorite things. And it's a pretty big bag, so you can fit a lot of things in here. So I just thought it was really cute, and it's like the perfect makeup bag. There is a black one and a white one. I chose the white one. I just thought it was a lot prettier. I really liked it a lot better. The black was just... I don't know. Normally, I would go for all black. That's basically all I wear, but it's... But I just thought that this stood out a little bit better, and I don't know, I just really liked it. It is going to get pretty messy, I feel, but I also think it's going to be pretty easy to just wipe down. So, it's not that big of a deal. Super cute, it holds a lot of product. I love, like, the rose gold detail, and then the little makeup. So, yeah, I love this bag. You can find this at any Sephora or online, that's where I got it. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and see what's inside. So there are things that I had to put in here, but the, this is pretty much what I would take. I would be ready to leave with this bag right now if I had to, so I think it's good. So I'm going to start off in order as how I would be doing my face. So I'm going to start with foundation first. I do have a foundation here with me, just in case I end up spending the night somewhere and I need to get ready the next morning. So I do need my foundation, and I use the color 415 from Makeup Forever. This one right here is one of my favorite foundations at the moment, um, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. I like a lot better, but I just like the convenience of this one. It's a lot easier to blend into the skin, and you don't have to, it doesn't require a lot of time. Uh, I can literally put this on with my beauty blender, not have to worry about like really working it in too much because it just sits really nice on top of the skin. It's not really as much full coverage as I would normally want, but I think for every day this foundation is good. It's perfect. I love it. Um, for my foundation, I have my Beauty Blender. This is actually the Body Blender, so it's a little bit bigger and it's just a little more flat. It works just as good as the normal beauty blenders, you of course have to get them wet and it doubles in size. I really like this big one because I feel like it's really easy to use. You get a nice grip on it. It just covers a bigger part of your face so it's just quicker in my opinion. But um, I don't know, it could just be that it's something different. I don't know, but I really like it. So this here, I don't normally carry with me. So this is not something I would normally grab if I was doing something really quick. But it's good to have with me just so I can uh, go for something a little bit more chiseled 
or just a really good contour if I need one super quick. It's so easy to use, that's why I put it in here. And I could also just use the um, lighter part as concealer and not have to contour with this. So this one's really good and for coverage is also really good. So I just wanted to throw that in there because I thought that it'd be super convenient to have this with me. Oh, um... This right here is a travel size Laura Mercier translucent powder. I actually just bought this. I thought it was super cute and it's in a small travel size um, container. But before this, I was using this little guy right here. So I just threw them both in here just to show you guys. This is the Makeup Forever High Definition Powder. It's super cute. This comes in like the 100 point perks from Sephora. It's a pretty decent size and it's so cute to just have in your uh, makeup bag or purse or whatever just to blot. If you have 100 points, go get this from Sephora. It's the cutest little thing ever. So I usually have this with me, but I thought I would probably carry this with me now because it's a little bit bigger and I just like the finish of the Laura Mercier a lot better because it's not as flat as the Makeup Forever one. But they're both amazing products. Um, and then of course I have the little puff. This is a small Laura Mercier puff. So this is always, always, always with me. This is my go-to bronzer, which is really weird because you guys normally never see this bronzer when I film YouTube tutorials. I always go for darker bronzers or I just use like my Anastasia Contour K or my Kat Von D or Lorac Contour palettes. This one never really gets featured anywhere, it, but honestly, I use it just as much as any of my contour kits. I love this one actually a lot better. This is what I started contouring with, and it's just, I really love it. The convenience of this is a lot better, so I keep this with me in my makeup bag. Of course, I'm not going to bring my entire contour kit in here, so this one is perfect just to give me a nice, like... Okay, so this is my Hula Bronzer from Benefit, of course. All right, so after my face... Oh, so I do have a highlight with me. This is my Mary Luminizer from La Balm. I love, love, love this highlight, of course, because it's so pretty. Um, I still haven't found anything similar to this that I feel like complements my skin tone. And it just, and it doesn't just complement my skin tone. I feel like anybody can use it. So it's one of those universal type of highlights because there's many, many, many highlights that have more golden undertones, more pink undertones, and then not everybody can use them. I feel like this one's really neutral. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I do have a concealer with me always because you always are going to need a concealer. I did mention that I might use my Pure Cameo Contour, the highlighted as a, as a concealer. So that could be an option. And then you have your contour. So this one is probably even better to have with you. Please have my concealer with me. I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the color Medium Neutral. I'm actually almost out of that but it's that good, I love it. And then I also have a brow pencil, this is from Anastasia. This is in the color dark brown. I mentioned this in my beauty favorites because I love this pencil. I use it every single day. This is perfect to have in your makeup bag because you can easily touch up. Uh, this is a product that is so much better in here. Usually when I'm at home, I like to use, um, if I have the time, I like to use more of like the Aqua Brow from Makeup Forever or the Anastasia Dip Brow, but you do need a brush with it. So this is a lot more convenient just to, it's just a pencil and a spoolie. So this is really, really good to have in your makeup bag. For my brow pencil, I do have a sharpener here. This is one of those sharpeners that have the small size and the big size because you never know what you need to sharpen. This is from Ulta. It's a really good sharpener. Uh, for eyeliner, I have a liquid liner from Sephora. This is my fine line 
waterproof eyeliner. This one is amazing. It is like a felt tip liner, which I'm not a big fan of for my makeup bag. It's perfect because I could just quickly go in. I do prefer using like a pot and a brush. That's like my go-to for eyeliner, but of course I'm not going to have all those extra things in my makeup bag. I'd rather just carry one thing. I do love that it's really thin so I can do uh, smaller lines or I can get a really nice sharp line at the tip. So I definitely, definitely need this in my makeup bag. I just threw in any mascara that I could find. I think that um, all I really need, I think honestly, I think all mascaras do this exact same thing, but I do need a mascara. I only really use mascaras to um, coat my lashes just so I can throw on some false lashes and it just doesn't look weird. So that's pretty much all I need it for. I don't try to go for volume or length or any of that just to coat my lashes. This is my Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I have a lash glue. This is my duo brush on adhesive with vitamins. I love this eyelash glue. I like the fact that it stays sort of sticky the whole time so your lashes don't ever fall off. If you have a problem with your lashes falling off or the very tips of them kind of um, coming off a little bit, this is a perfect glue for that. So I love this one and who doesn't love their vitamins? So I also have a lip balm here. This is my Bobbi Brown um, lip balm and um, this has no color to it. This is just for the days where my lips feel super chapped. So I do need to carry that with me. Usually that's just in my purse no matter what. You always need a lip balm. And we're getting to the last things in here. I do have my lip products. These are my two favorite lip products at the moment. This one is just my go-to. This one here I've loved for a very, very long time. This is my Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color London. It's actually the one that I'm wearing right now. It looks good, it feels good, and it's cheap, so I absolutely love this. I'm always gonna buy this forever and ever and ever and ever. And then here I have Beeper from... Where's this sign? That's the thing that I don't like about ColourPop, that the packaging always fades. Maybe it's not even that big of a deal for most people, but I just think it just makes it look really cheap. The actual product itself is really good. The packaging... This one is very similar to my London color, except it's a little cooler and a little darker. So it's still a pretty... It's still a pretty nude, but it's like just a darker nude for nighttime, and this one's more for daytime. And then my two little last items in here are two brushes so I am I'm gonna include my sponge with this so if I had to just pick tools I would go with these three products this is my elf angled blush brush I love this because I can get a nice contour with this you could even do your foundation with this if it wasn't dirty so you could go in with your foundation so this is a really good brush and it's only like five dollars at Target um, this one right here is just a classic blending brush I love this never bring like shadows with me I always if I need to give my eye a nice contour I'll just use my hula bronzer and then I just use my highlighter in the inner corners or my brow bone so that's basically all I need I love this so I can do my eyes I can also contour my nose with this and I always need to contour my nose so I need a small little brush for that and then of course my sponge for my foundation or even to blend out my concealer or my contour or even just to blot my face I love this to blot my face pretty much it that's all I have in here so all that fit into this bag and it wasn't even fully packed I think I could have fit a palette in here um, maybe some face wash and when I take off my eyelashes at the end of the night I usually just put them in 
my Hoola bronzer case because it's nice and thick so it's not going to flatten them up. But that is all that's in my makeup bag. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys found some inspiration for your makeup bags and let me know if you love this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you guys like my makeup, I just filmed this makeup look, so I'm, it will probably be up soon after this video. So stay tuned for that or subscribe so you guys don't miss it. Um, let me know if you guys have any requests. Leave them down below. I will have all my social medias listed in the description box below. So you guys can follow me on Instagram. I always post my makeup looks that I'm going to upload or my makeup of the day that's all on Instagram so you guys can go check that out and follow me. Thank you guys so much for watching until next time love you guys